What's up? It's me, Janus Rasmussen here, with another episode of Production Tricks. Today I'm gonna talk about a technique I like to do to my bass channels, and let's just jump right in. Ableton, you know it, we love it. Here it is. I have a bass sound here, it's from my MS-20, it sounds like this. That's pretty good. So what's going on here is that I recorded it, but I needed it to be a little bit more aggressive. So what I did, I made a distortion chain, as you can see here. And uh, this is a great thing you do in Ableton. You can basically make a chain out of everything. Um, so I have a plugin, if you look here. And I have this plugin. It's modeled after the Turbo Rat. And I really love the sound of this, but as you can see, it doesn't have a dry wet knob. So I've made a chain out of this, where I made one that's called wet, one that's called dry. And on the wet channel, I have a reverb that I crank the stereo up, make it pretty short, and then dry wet maybe uh, 67 or something. Put the raw afterwards, then after. EQ the bass out of it, give it some high end, and here it is soloed. Here's the dry. Together. I'm just gonna show you how you can do this with the Ableton stock plugins. First, let's delete the raw. Oh, I'm gonna miss you. Go into Ableton, and they have a plugin called Pedal. And let's see if we can recreate that sound. Uh, solo only the wet. Yeah, basically, that's it. Let's do it again when I mix the wet signal into the dry signal. It's quite nice. Now I can, with the EQ, maybe tame the distorted channel a little bit. I kind of like it with a little bit of high end. Maybe take more low end out of it. Make the reverb longer. Okay, no. Uh, you get the point. Do this to anything you want. I like to do it on bass sounds. And that's all for today. Remember to subscribe, hit like, uh, leave me a comment. I like those. Oh, okay, have a good day.